did you know that Eddie Guerrero had a daughter who wrestled in WWE? Eddie's oldest child, Shaw Guerrero, was signed by WWE in 2010 at the age of 20. She started training at WWE's development system at the time, FCW, and competed under the name Raquel Diaz. Even though she didn't use the Guerrero name, commentators did acknowledge her wrestling heritage. When FCW became NXT, Shaw went along with the transition. She was pushed as one of the top female wrestlers upon NXT's launch. In fact, during her first NXT match, she defeated future Divas champion, Paige. Not long after making her NXT debut, Shaw Guerrero would take a leave of absence from WWE. While she would later come back, Shaw eventually left WWE due to an eating disorder. Thankfully, she's doing much better today, and in 2016, Shaw married fellow WWE wrestler Aiden English. You probably don't know that Randy Orton had a cousin who was trained to be a WWE wrestler. At 18 years old, Randy's cousin, Jasper Orton, was signed to a development contract with WWE. Controversy arose when it was reported that Jasper claimed to be Randy Orton's brother, which he isn't. Regardless, Jasper was signed by WWE and started training. While he looked to be in phenomenal shape based on the photos he shared on Twitter, fans never got to see the debut of Jasper Orton. There was never any official word on what happened to the Viper's cousin. It's likely Jasper either decided wrestling wasn't for him him, or WWE decided Jasper wasn't for them. Long before Angel and Umberto wrestled in WWE, their uncle was flying around the ring. From late 1996 to early 1997, fans witnessed Hector Garza. Garza got to compete in WWE thanks to a working agreement the company had with a Mexican wrestling company named AAA. Hector Garza only wrestled a handful of matches in WWE, most notably a six-man tag team match at the 1997 Royal Rumble. WWE may have seen something in him because Garza won almost all of his matches. However, due to WWE and AAA's partnership, ending in mid-1997, Hector Garza could no longer wrestle for the company. Sadly, Hector would pass away before his nephews made it to WWE due to lung cancer. The first ever Women's Money in the Bank winner, Carmella, is a second generation wrestler. Before Carmella was moonwalking and trash talking, her father was competing in WWE. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, a man by the name of Paul Van Dale wrestled in WWE. He competed against some pretty big names like Razor Ramon, Kevin Nash, and Shawn Michaels. Unfortunately, Paul never won a single match. In 1994, Van Dale wrestled for the last time in WWE. 20 years later, in 2014, his daughter made her WWE debut and won her first match. If I told you Roman Reigns had a cousin wrestling in WWE right now, you'd probably guess I'm talking about either Jimmy or Jey Uso. You are correct, but the head of the table has a third family member on the WWE roster. His name is Solo Sikawa. Solo made his WWE debut in November 2021 on NXT 2.0. Since then, the guy has been a beast. He's lost very few matches and has been a contender for the North American Championship. As you might have guessed, Solo Sikawa is the younger brother of the Usos. With his relations to the blood, Line, we might eventually see Solo join his family on the main roster. Did you also know that Shawn Michaels had a cousin who wrestled in WWE? To see that, watch this video.